Okay, so as we take a look at problem number one for balancing redox reactions, it says for each net ionic equation described below, balance the equations using the half reaction method and determine the standard potential for the overall reaction as written. Then use the value of the overall reaction to determine whether or not the reaction is spontaneous as written. Okay, so step one is just to write in the oxidation states of each of the things in our equation. Done. Okay, our next step is to write the oxidation and reduction half reactions. I notice that my copper is being oxidized. It is losing electrons because it goes from the zero oxidation state to the plus two oxidation state. Notice I'm gonna include my number of electrons lost. In this case, two electrons or two moles of electrons for every mole of solid copper. A quick skip to my reduction potential list and I find that copper has a reduction potential of positive 0.34 volts. Notice though, here the copper is being oxidized. So to turn my reduction potential into an oxidation potential, I simply need to flip the sign. So we go from positive 0.34 volts to negative 0.34 volts because the copper is being oxidized. Our reduction half reaction, the silver ion will be reduced by gaining one electron for every silver ion reduced to form solid silver. As I check out my reduction potential for silver, boom, its reduction potential is positive 0 0.80. So definitely more likely to be reduced than copper. So because it's being reduced, we're simply gonna leave it as is positive 0 0.80 volts. Okay, I always wanna make sure that my masses are balanced. I've got the same number of coppers on each side, the same number of silvers on each side. So I'm balanced for mass. Now I have to balance for charge. Since I am losing two electrons here, but only gaining one electron here, I need to multiply my reduction reaction by two. Although remember, we're not multiplying the voltage. So I'm gonna recombine my two half reactions, canceling out the electrons and summing together the voltages. So there's my balanced redox reaction. When I sum together my oxidation and reduction potentials, I get an overall reaction potential of positive 0.46 volts. Again, because this sign is positive, we are gonna say that this reaction as written is spontaneous. Boom, and we are done.